Hello everyone, my name is Zenitsu, and I'm back with another Digimon video. So today is going to be kind of like the match and gameplay showcase, where I'm going to be picking a deck and showing it off. And today I'm going to be playing the purple version of Dexter Goromon. I do have the black version built, but I, after like playing with the two, I do think that the purple is just like significantly better because the pieces kind of just seem to move smoother. So let's just dive into some gameplay and see what we get. So this is a pretty bad hand. I don't really have any good openers. No rookies, no Ukomons. Not really a good tamer setup. The only thing I have is like wisdom to maybe try to find something else. And I don't think that's good enough. <coughs> so I'm going to mulligan. This is way better because I have Lucamon, Cracker, and Wisdom. So, we are going up against blue hybrids. So, interesting that they are choosing to run the Magna. Uh, usually, you don't have a whole lot of good ways to just, like, you don't want to hoard them. So, I guess maybe they're just going to try to, like, use, I don't know, uh, the Beowulfs to try to bridge. Uh, so I know they shouldn't be able to respond, so I could reasonably Ukomon and then Wisdom. And then I found another Lukamon. There's an argument for taking the Dex, but I don't think I really need the Dex right now. Uh, just because I know next turn I'm going to be moving out and then Lukamon. And based on what I know from blue hybrids, they really shouldn't have a reactive play to deal with this Ukomon. They would have to basically cross. Like, that's their only way, is just cross into Ancient. Oh, I guess they literally are doing that. Okay. So, my hand is not super great because I have the wrong level 4s. But I guess they are really threatened by uh, by my Digimon. So I guess we just start moving out. Uh, and doing it. Digimon Emperor. So, I have Alliance and Blocker. What does this get me? We'll just get rid of you. And set you up. So, this is kind of inconsequential, because he just grabs something back anyway. The Kendo, interesting. Uh, they don't exactly have... I'll keep the, the Tamer in here. Just to pose as a blocker, because they don't exactly have the best ways to deal with uh, with this. And it stops him from attacking, and they can't, like, strip my sources. That's not what Ancient Guru is doing. So, now I could Ukomon, and then... So, he's just... Okay. Uh, end of attack, delete one of your... Digimon, delete one of the equal or lower level. Okay. 
Uh, now I'm going to split AG out just because... So, there's an argument to not even Ukumon here, just because I don't really need it. And I could just, like, collision, kill something. So, let's go Mind Link first. Uh, I will not Digivolve from the trash. This will collision, force him to block with his Digimon. They'll die. I'm just kind of evaluating, based on what happens here, what I should be doing. Uh, unsuspend? Yes. No. Because I do not have another Digimon, and this is just going to kill his field. So, I do have Reboot. So, let's go ahead and... He does have Mem Setter. So I could, like, play Ukomon, play Digimon Emperor. That's not terrible. And then kind of force him to respond again. Because if anything happens to this, I have the Lukamon in the back to be able to grab back the AG. So, I'm okay with leaving the AG in here. So, he's just digging. I don't exactly know what he's digging for. He took the Bayo. Yeah, now, uh... Oh, that's really good. Um, my trash isn't exactly set up. So, I'm going to move out. Um, I kind of was hoping for something else. So, let's go with a Doru Gray, right? Because I have enough level 4s and I already have my level 6s. So now I could like training or analog just to try to dig more. So let's go ahead and I'll mind slink. Did you fall here? Ukumon is exactly what I wanted to see here, actually. Ooh, Ruin Mode. So, it sucks that the way Collision is going to work here. So, actually, I'll Collision and then I can Alliance. Draw one card. Yes, please. Unsuspend the Digimon. No. And then I could... Ice Wall. That kind of sucks. Uh, so I will split the AG out. And then I get to gain two memory, so I get a maintain turn. I'm going to read Mind Slink. And then I can set up either Analog or Wisdom, probably Wisdom, just to dig. What am I digging for exactly? That's the, the question I gotta ask myself. Or is it just set up? I think it's just set up. So I only got one option. So I have all my level 5s in hand. 
Um, and then I could play the AG out, but, uh, just for safety, I do have reboot. I'll just play the AG out. He hasn't really dealt a whole lot of damage to me, so this is fine. Uh, the Ukamon is basically the Ancient Magnet. That's not good for me. I kind of needed his Digimon to die. Maybe he wanted his to die because of the on-delete. So, I guess that works out. Because if he crosses, he loses that. And he can't Evo an attack with the Beowulf. Yeah, so now he's just going to bounce this or the Ukomon. So, maybe leaving AG in was probably the correct play. Demon Wolf. I'll just take uh, another AG. And then I can discard... I could just discard a level 5, it doesn't matter. I have so many of them. Yeah, because I could uh, shine eventually. Just to be able to egg and do something. So he's going to keep my Digimon from attacking. So I get two searches. Uh, Death X is huge. Because I'm actually just debating about Digivolving into Death X. Uh, hatch. I found another one. It's kind of what I was looking for. So now I just Digi in the back here. For zero. And then I could just Digi into death wipe his field oh uh, well he gets to keep a tamer so i guess that's whatever but now he has a death x he has to deal with and next turn i should basically be able to go all the way up into another dorogoro so i'm pretty okay I probably should have mind linked so I could demine link just to gain a memory, but it kind of just didn't matter because uh, his tamer is just going to stick around. And it's not like this could get blocker, so. So Kendo gains double jamming. Analog, that's fine i guess i'll take the lugamon i probably should have took the level six though but i could always evo into the trash into the level six okay so he's gonna ancient to get my last security out And then his Digimon's gonna die anyway, so maybe I should have just swung with the Ukos. Ooh, Protoform is pretty okay here. So now he gets to reset up a Tamer, and then I have to deal basically three checks, which is not hard because of Alliance. Maybe set up a blocker. Kill his tamer that he's about to play. Well, I'm forced to take one of those. So... Now this is the awkward part. Uh, I could ruin mode. Maybe that prevents lethal also. So 
So let's go ahead and mind link first. Uh, so now I have to try to give him as little memory as possible. I have way too many cards in my hand. I mean, he can't raise out anyway. Do I have a Lugamon in here? I do. So I could YOLO. So if I Digivolve for three, unmind Link, that'll put him to one, kill his Tamer, and I have a blocker out. So, or no, I should have just used this for one, Alliance, this, for the two checks, and then uh, swing. No, I, not enough DP. I could have technically won here, um, utilizing uh, Demon Castle. Uh, actually, I maintain turn. So, where is, there you are. So I could Evo for I could Evo for four to put him at one. Because then I'll put him at three, gain two, put him at one. Leave blocker in. Well, I guess then I should have just Evoed for here. Yeah. That was stupid of me. Oh, well. Uh, I should have just evoed for three, and then that would have made things significantly harder. But him not having a tamer is uh, pretty brutal. He can't raise out, otherwise he loses memory to Digimon Emperor. And he can't reasonably ancient because Ukumon is acting as a magnet. So I'm in a pretty good spot here. Yeah. So there was, there was no real feasible way that they were uh, they were going to win that one. So that was a pretty good first showing. Uh, I have Ukomon as a searcher. I'm going first, so I could Uko, draw, and then set up a tamer. This is such a risky hand because I, like, have almost nothing and then I'm sitting on, like, two bricks. So I think I'm just going to mulligan. And this hand is arguably worse. Uh, but I at least have, like, training, training, analog. So I have more searchers. Versus, like, I have a better turn one play. Ooh, that sucks. That actually was brutal. That analog would have missed both of those two, and I might have been able to get on one Digimon. So it looks like they are on some yellow vaccine Kari based deck. Uh, this stops me from playing Digimon, so that's whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and just Wisdom again. Uh, I think for where I'm at, based on my hand, I just need to take the wisdom. Because I'm kind of bricking here. But at least, like, I could use wisdom versus the other one to unbrick myself. And that's not the ideal level four anyway, so they are going to be stacking their security.
So I have a level five, so that's at least something. So I could... Dorugora? No, I need to keep this. I just need to keep digging. Uh, Death X is okay. Maybe this will find me what I need? No. Uh, so if I hard play this, the heal go to four. So I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm literally just missing a rookie. That Ukamon would have been huge. So, it looks like they are on some, like, recovery-based deck. They know I have a Death X, but based on, like, the recovery shenanigans, Death X might not be doing anything. Okay, so now I saw my Lugamon. Um, on play and when Digivolve. So I think I just hard play Uko. And kind of just pass. Try looking for the Tamer off of Ukomon. See if they respond. Because the wider the field, the easier it is to play Death X. So they don't reasonably want to do that. So they are just probably going to crack some boosts to Evo up. Oh, playing Akari. Okay. Playing a Tamer. Oh, no, Domini. So Domini will kill uh, my Digimon. And then, yeah, they're kind of just forced to play into Death X because they're a Domini deck. Like, Kari Domini is interesting. Uh, but I guess the Kari makes sense because... It works with revelations, and then you're also removing and adding cards in. So because cards are being removed, that's where Kari comes in handy to just gain extra memory. So I think they were just literally waiting for that. Uh, they don't have access at their trash, so that's fine. And it looks like they whiffed in security. So there's two Ukamons down, so... If I draw a Tamer, or, like, they give me one, that's huge. Uh, yeah, so there's the Revelations. Seven security seems like it's a lot to fight through, but it kind of isn't. Um, I'm just going to hold, because this deck doesn't have the ability to just deal damage. So I'm just going to do some more digging. Uh, I found the... Level 5 and the Tamer, which is good. Uh, and then I can discard the level 6, because next turn I'm just going to go all the way up into my level 6. I could just Digivolve, or no, I can't. I was like, I could just Digivolve here, but... I could Digivolve here. Pass him to 4 versus 3. Just to get a card draw, force him to do something. Um, if... Yeah. So, I'll just do that. And then I could discard you. Yeah, because now if he deletes it, analog can trigger. So, it is a lot of memory to give him, but, like, I'm also kind of just seeing if he's going to bait, take the bait and go into a, uh, get played into a Death X. Because I don't think Revelation of Light is reasonably going to do anything. It's a minus 5k to the field, but, like, if I'm just able to build up. Yeah, I live with 1k. Ooh, that deletes his Digimon and ends his turn. Alright, so now I just go ham. This is the ham turn.
Because, yeah, this is where all of my wisdom building kind of just comes into play. Uh, I could discard a cracker. No, I kind of don't want to. Just in case I need to hard play it. I think analog is just diminishing returns at this point. Uh, who am I gonna... So, both of them are gonna die this turn, so it kind of just doesn't matter. So, I could swing collision... Uh, no, I actually won't alliance this. Yeah, now I'm just going absolutely ballistic. So, I'm at 10 memory. Holy crap. So, I do have to be cognitive of the revelation of light. Do I honestly? Oh, it was just too big. Okay. Yeah, I'll just set up more tamers. And then just Evo for four into here. And then not play the AG out. Because it doesn't matter. Oh, I could have just mind linked to have a blocker. That was my bad. Yeah, so I'm just playing around Revelation. They've already used up a lot of high-end stuff. So with only seven cards in hand, it doesn't exactly look good for them. Yeah, because now I could, like, set up a Death X if I really wanted to or something else. Uh, let's just Digi into here. Collision. Unsuspend. No. Mind's Link. Revelation does nothing. Judgment. Well, I mean, it kills this.
I mean, I could just kill the TK. <laughs> Literally. So, I'm in a pretty commanding position here. It just goes to show, like, sometimes, like, just recovery, do nothing is not great. Because that's all they did. They had seven security. They're down to three. So, I'm basically even with them. The revelation does kind of suck because it does last and linger. But, like, my Digimon are big enough where it kind of just doesn't matter. So he gets two triggers, so he gets to kill one. So his smart bet is just to kill this. No? Okay. I don't exactly agree with that, but alright. I do have another AG. And then I can Evo in the trash. I probably mistimed this, oh well. That's fine. Okay, never mind. Uh, will you draw? Yes. I will discard a fan. He is forced to block, he will recover, and I will play out a free Digimon. That free Digimon will be a Tyranno. Get a gain of memory. I will take this, just to throw it away. Get out of here. On suspend? Yes, I will. Alright. So, now I it got a lot that I can do. Uh, let's go ahead and mine Link, because I can. Oh, it, that already has one. Evo. Uh, swing two checks. Alliance. Sure, this kind of just doesn't matter at this point. One check. A rev. And then I lose a memory. And then I just hard play AG to pass turn. Playing my AGs from sources. Because I do not have Reboot. So yeah, that Revelation just kind of doesn't really matter. I mean, he could, like, hard play something, recover, kill this. That doesn't sound very good. That doesn't sound like he's winning. If anything, they're just stalling. Revelation, just to recover. Sure. Again, doesn't really do anything. Not with my board. So, now I get to Mind Link. Digivolve, kill the Kari.
Alliance, two checks. Revelation, does nothing. Zofanimon, still does nothing. I could just Evo for one just to choke him. Let's do that. Uh, do I want to play the AG out? It kind of just doesn't matter. I have a whole bunch of AGs. So, if his Digimon, like, gets deleted, I could, like, unsuspend or do something. Okay, so his Digimon dies, he gets to recover, and then I get to unsuspend. And now I have a blocker. But I don't think there was any, like, way that they could just rush off of one memory and attack. Digimon Emperor? Sure. You could pretend like that matters. Uh, I kind of am forced to raise out here because, um, yeah, otherwise, uh, I can't win. So I could alliance with it. So I first have to mind link. I'll just play it safe. Gain some extra DP. Alright. And now I should reasonably be able to win the game. One. Two. And three. Alright. Cool. So, that's kind of showing off, like, the dumbness of purple base. Let's swap over to black base and see how well we can do with black base. And then I'll kind of show both, um, both ends of the spectrum. In terms of the deck profiles. So, no tamer, which kind of sucks. Uh, I do have at least the ability to, like, dig for something. Um, uh, so I could keep this. So I could hold this in raising, play this to dig. Or, like, Evo for one pass just to choke, and then Doru the next turn, see what kind of plays my opponent's doing. Yeah, I think just choking is better. So, this might be red hybrids. Yes, it is indeed red hybrids. So, now I can play this, choke him to one, and dig. Oh, it would have been really nice to take the Marvin, but unfortunately, Black just doesn't have any ways to actually search out Tamers, because I needed to get this set up. So, I think none of these are great. I think I just take the dex. Yeah, because, like, the big problem with, um... With the Dexter Gora deck is the reliance on the Tamers and the Inheritable to do anything. And this is kind of where purple shines brighter than black because purple has easier ways to grab its Tamer. And it also has... Um, easier ways to set up its tamer. Uh, so it looks like they're still just digging, so I'm just still going to hold this because I'm going to be digging myself. Uh, I will be trashing this because I might actually have to use this to Evo. So, next turn, I'm definitely going to be using this to Evo, just to be able to do something. And it's obviously going to be on here, because this does nothing. 
Because then I could digi into this, maybe. I don't get to delete the tamers, unfortunately, but this lets me at least to dig if I digivolve here, then digivolve here. Assuming my Digimon both live. Because they both could easily die. Because he could, like, raid. Like, Evo for two, raid, Evo for one, or Evo for zero, and then Emperor. So, both my Digimon could be dead. Yeah, so there's the raid. So, raid, thankfully, is into this. That's if they're electing to raid. They are electing to raid. Yeah, I also think that purple as a whole has more consistency tools than black does. Oh, they're just gonna ancient and kill my Digimon and then reset. So, they're gonna be killing my board. Oh, they're not evolving? Set up a flame. Set up Mem Setter. So that's pretty okay, because now I could do these. The Air Germon would have been... Re Actually, the Air Germon's really nice, but unfortunately I don't have the Marvin, to, and we just saw it go to the bottom. Yeah, so I, I literally just can't even de-digivolve. So, Memory Setter kind of sucked for me. It was, like, exactly what I needed in order to Evo twice. But, uh, would have been nice to be able to have the extra memory. So now I'm gonna have to, like, move out, set up Kosuke. Because Kosuke plus this basically, um... It doesn't exactly make my Digimon immortal. But yeah, now he's just gonna swing and kill this anyway. Well, Kosuke was... Played out anyway, so that's unfortunate. So now I just wasted a level 5. Or a level 4. Yeah, and then that kills this. That's good, at least. So I can't do the free Evo trick, which is the only unfortunate thing. So it gets to add back two cards... So, the, you could kind of just see, like, how much more rough it is because I'm just not being able to find my stuff. Even, like, in bad hands with purple, like, you're still able to find your stuff because the deck is just that much more consistent. Uh, that's actually really good. So, I will have to set up Kosuke. Give myself some protection. This would have been nice. Uh, but again, I don't have a good level 4. So I'm going to have to use the bad one. I can at least kill his Digimon. And then I... Die myself, which is that's unfortunate. I've totally forgot Kosuke gives piercing. Oh, uh, we'll take the Air Jermon, so that way I actually have a more efficient level 4. Because I could use uh, Sephiroth to Digivolve. Go to 3, Sephiroth. Um, that costs, what, 3 to Evo into him? And then go into a Doru? That's still not great. 
Uh, yeah, and they just took the uh, Evo in the back on attack Warper. And then the other thing, like, that gives purple an advantage, too, is the fact that, like, they can play their tamers from the trash. So, like, if my Kosuke's are all gone, I have zero ways to be able to bring these guys back, which is another huge problem. So, I could Sephiroth just to, like, do something. So, do I need the reboot or the plus 1,000? That's the big question. Do I have uh, level 5 decks in the trash? I do not. Okay. I know I should be playing one. Yeah, because the only other problem is, like, I can throw this out just to throw it out, but it's just going to die, so why bother? So, let's just go with Reboot. There's the level 5. And then I'm just going to have to pass and hope he can't kill me. Which, uh, Red Hybrids can very easily kill you from this type of position. Because he gets two checks off of this for one memory... Then he could Evo onto literally, probably Memory Setter, just to get another two. Or to get another one, and then he just wins. So, yeah, there's there's no way he doesn't win here. Because this will be two checks. And then he Evos into here for two. Oh, wait, no. Because his Digimon didn't... So I think, like, their play was Evo here first. Deal one damage, get the two memory back, then do this. For some reason, I thought this was uh, Evo for um, one, but it's Evo for two. The other one's Evo for one, but it's on Digivolve. So there's the trade-offs. So they can't kill me this turn, which is good at least. But they get to basically set up to kill me next turn, and there's not that much I can reasonably be able to do to stop that. Just because the tamers on the field, I could pop some of them, I could get rid of his Digimon, deal some damage, but I don't think I have the ability to actually just kill him this turn, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. Not unless I like find some like god tier level defense. Which I could, because I do have at least uh, my decks in the trash. So, I'm not, like, down and out. It's just going to be significantly more difficult. Oh, I forgot to mine Link, so I'm already throwing this. That was stupid of me. Yeah, now he's forced to block, and then I could use this to Evo, kill off a Tamer. Unsuspend. Play out a Digimon. Uh, we'll just play out. Oh, I could... So this is how I can play out um, car, like Kosuke's from the trash. Uh, but it's significantly worse doing it this way than it is the other way. So I could at least like Evo into a, another potential blocker just to try to live. Because what's my other play? Do I have... I do have another one. Uh, 
Uh, but he doesn't natively have blocker, so that was an oopsie on my part. Yeah, so I just played this whole last turn completely wrong. But I don't reasonably think there actually is a feasible way for me to even do this. Um... Because this, that costs at least one. So I could pay six to delete a tamer. Because this isn't going to delete because I don't have a Kosuke. There's nothing really that great to discard. Oh, yeah, because I have to leave the Kosuke in here. And I can only delete one Tamer. He's going to have four memory. Yeah, so. And I have one block versus two attacks. So if I did take the Kosuke, what was, um, what was my actual play? So I took the Kosuke because there was the, the miss defense training, but... I could have maybe Sephiroth if I took Kosuke to create a secondary blocker. That's about the best I probably could have done. Uh, and then maybe actually have the um, Dorugoramon. Or not Dorugoramon, uh, the Dorugreymon. But I still think, like, he just knowing how Red Hybrids works, probably has it anyway. Just because they have uh, multiple ways to be able to delete Digimon. So, I think they are... Oh, no, they're just shoving five underneath. Yeah, they're canceling. So now they could just Evo all the way up. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're throwing. Because next turn, I'm going to invest in this stack. Oh, oh wait. Okay. So, they're going to add that back. Add something else back. Probably a level 4. Replay this out for 2. So, that would have costed 4. No, it seems like they're throwing. I probably shouldn't have evoed into this because now this is going to die. Oh, well. Uh, can't be deleted by effects. So, maybe I am safe. And then I de digivolve his Digimon. And then I could play Kosuke. Because nothing else is really worth playing. So maybe they actually threw. Huh. I guess it's better to get lucky than good, I guess. Because now they don't have enough memory, and I have basically lethal on field because I just swing. Um, I double swing and then I Sephiroth.
Yeah. So, like... Okay, whatever. Um... There, there were play lines where I could have lost, uh, is where I'm kind of getting at. Uh, I think, like, just because of the unsuspend, it is it puts me in a really strong position. But I do think, like, compared to the two, you can kind of see that it's, like, just getting up into this card is, like, really strong. And being able to set up your tamers is, like, insanely important. And I feel like this deck has more ways, like, this version of the deck has more ways to do it. Um, just because, like, you have the Tyrannomons, you have room to play Ukomons, so you already are running more searching tools, especially since you also have, um, Castle of Nine Wolves, and then this could naturally, on a level 3, just play it from the trash, which is way better than needing to be in a level 6 to be able to bring back your Kosuke from the trash. So you still have the ability to bring them back from the trash, it's just where that is. So I do think that, like, purple just has some natural advantages. It has a little bit harder time when it comes to, like, piercing, but I think, like, if you're just able to use alliance to just hit over bigger walls, that probably just completely offsets what piercing is even able to do as the trade-off, because both, um, AG and the other one, um give uh blocker so you still have like those offense and defensive lines of play uh so this is just an example of like what i was running for the purple base i think it's pretty good and as far as like what i'm running for black base there's probably lots of room for like improvement because I am running uh, Megadramon just to be able to try to pop some Tamers. I'm also still running the Dogreymon just for some extra protections and the ability to try to have extra security attack plus. Because one thing I noticed was I wasn't exactly dealing a lot of damage when their field was empty because I didn't have Alliance. Uh, and then you're still just playing like the same broken level 3s, the same broken level 4s. Um... Like, between the BT-16 line and then the BT-17 dex line. And then when it comes to the level 3s, obviously you gotta play the one that's gonna be setting up your Kosuke. Uh, because without AG, you have to run Kosuke. I was thinking about, like, just dropping Marvin down, but, like, having jamming isn't bad. Because uh, we do have ways of giving security attack plus, but it's just in here just because it's another SOC tamer. And then D Digivolve with the Aerodramons, and having Aerodramon to be able to set it up isn't bad either. Again, this is just what I was experimenting with, and I could be entirely wrong. Um, but I do like what a lot of this is doing. Again, there's some really weird anti synergies with black. Uh, which is why I'm thinking, like, maybe Airdramon, Marvin, and Megadramon just aren't necessarily that great. So, it's just experimentation. Um, and it could literally just be my build on Black is just vastly inferior to what other people's builds on Black could be. So, maybe that was just influencing my own, uh, personal choice. But I think, like, there's some really good stuff going on, and I do enjoy what the deck is doing. And I think it is a really strong deck being able to control the field relatively well. Speed of evolution, playing tamers, and having some cards and some lines of play for decent damage output. Even though it's not like, I'm just gonna kill you off of, like, force security, because I just can uh, it's not doing anything crazy, so it's a little bit uh, more tame when it comes to the damage, but it's also supposed to be more of a control deck. But yeah, that's all I really have for this video. If you found all of the games to be enjoyable and you'd like to see more overall content, tell me uh, what your thoughts are down in the comments below as far as what my builds are doing and what you would change and improve on or just any misplays that I made, and what other matches and games and decks that you would like to see as well. Uh, but uh, otherwise, if you uh, found this to be helpful and informative, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and with that, I will see you in the next video.